Today, I'll be making eggplant rollantini. Welcome to my tiny kitchen cooking. Start with the eggplant. Take the tops off. It does not have to be a perfect peel. When you're buying eggplant, bigger is not always better because oftentimes the bigger ones have too many seeds and the seeds can be bitter. So you don't really want to go for size all the time, just sometimes. Slice it lengthwise. At this point, I can actually lay it down and go this way. I have about a half tub of Belgioso regatta here. I'm adding some grated cheese, about a half pound of baby spinach. I like to add some lemon zest. I think regatta and lemon zest are a great combination. Some salt, not too much, because you want to taste it first. There's a lot of cheese, so it might be salty. Grated pepper. I like to use a little bit of garlic powder. You could use fresh garlic instead. Depending on the brand of regatta, you might notice it's really hard to mix. If that's the case, just add a little milk or cream and that'll do the trick. So I have it all mixed up. I'm gonna just set it aside, stick it in the fridge until I'm ready to assemble. Change of plans. I have way too many eggplants to be grilling in this kitchen. Spray both sides with oil, season both sides, just salt and pepper, line them up in a pan, stick them on broil. This is a great trick, try it. You have to keep a close eye on this because it is dangerous to broil. These won't look the best, but they'll taste just fine. I add some more oil because the oil really helps it cook and brown better. You see that like floppiness? You really just kind of want to make it pliable. I just know someone's going to have something to say about me broiling eggplant rather than grilling or frying. And I have to let you know, I don't care. For the sauce, I like to mix a can of crushed tomatoes and a can of puree. Season, salt, pepper, dried parsley, or fresh if you have it. This is not my ideal way of making this by any means, but I just wanted to show you that you can actually make a dish like this very quickly and easily. Layer of sauce, the ricotta mixture. You wanna gently roll it so you don't squeeze out all that goodness, and that's what it looks like. Stick it in the sauce, there you go. And just keep going. I have a little bit extra ricotta, and with that, I'm probably just going to slather it all over my body and paint the town red. Well, I'm just kidding. Although, I'm sure people would pay to see that. Just don't waste it. It's delicious. Layer of sauce on top. Give it a little shaky shake. This is ready to go into the oven. I'm going to stick it in at 400 and let it cook until the sauce is nice and cooked and bubbly. All right, so I added cheese to it. I brought it over to my parents' house. The cheese melted a little bit in the car, but now I'm going to stick it on broil. Looks good, Ma? Yes, but I gotta try first uh, to oh. see if it's good. Oh, okay. All right. We're gonna try it first. I hope that this is good, sir. Okay. Okay? The judgment. It's a really, really good. Angelina, the ricotta, nice and taste. I, nice put, taste. I put lemon zest. Yeah, it tastes so good. Really good, Angelina. Good. Bon appetito. Bon appetito.